didn't it feel like the world came alive again the last couple of days around here with the weather so being nice. so the good? Birds are coming back and it's just they're tweeting early in the morning. <laughs> not tweeting, tweeting, but tweeting, <laughs> right? tweeting. No. Anyway, some of the other parts of the country not no. having our kind of weather over the last couple of days. That certainly is true and it feels like the bad part of spring has arrived mm. too early. Let's check in with Scott. We're talking tornadoes, of course. Yeah, you know, the weather pattern got really active pretty early, or I should say the storm systems are driving down to the south a little early than uh, usual, and that's causing us a lot of issues here as far as the tornado season goes. I want to show you generally what's been going on. We'll get to some tornado stats as well. A burst of spring to the south coming in Tuesday. Unfortunately, this is going to meet up with that cold front that's coming through our neck of the woods overnight tonight. And so on Thursday, a trough of low pressure settles on in with that cold air that's going to ride right by us. It's going to run into some warm, moist, humid air, and more tornadoes will likely form in this region from northeast Texas into Arkansas, uh, even in southern Missouri. So we're dealing with maybe another outbreak of tornadoes, hopefully not as bad as what we had before. Here's your typical tornado frequency, and you'll see that bullseye right in uh, Oklahoma where they get, we get the most tornadoes, most in, in Texas, but per capita it's most in the Oklahoma area. But you can see the general region, Idaho, not all that uh, high in the frequency. You get a little bit in southern New England, but we're primarily talking tornado alley. The probability of a tornado in the month of March, you can see it, and this is kind of where they've been forming in general, although we've been getting some coming to the north here in Kentucky, but it is the southeast states as that warmer air tries to move right back in. So your tornadoes come in April in the southeast, May right here in Tornado Alley, the peak. And for us in southern Idaho, we're talking June and July, even April and May to the west. But it's more July and even August that we have some of our worst tornadoes or worst weather in the northwest. So the average forward speed of a tornado is 30 miles an hour. It can be from not even moving to up to 70 miles per hour. Many of those storms are moving very rapidly as they were going through uh, the northeast. And this is the amazing part right here. You talk about the strength of the tornadoes, those F4s and F5s you hear about, the extreme tornadoes, only 1% of all tornadoes are in that category. 79% you see right here, or 90, I should say 99% uh, are F0 to F3. So again, we're talking about only a small percentage, and we had a couple F4s out there just the other day on Friday. So unfortunately, mm. we'll hopefully not get any more of those coming Let's up hope. as we have that next system coming on in. Well, hopefully the percentages are correct. Yeah, absolutely. All right, thanks, Scott.